John Coolidge Adams born February 15, 1947, is an American composer, clarinetist, and conductor of classical music and opera, with strong roots in minimalism. His works include Nixon in China Harmonier Short Ride in a Fast Machine On the Transmigration of Souls a choral piece commemorating the victims of the September 11, 2001 attacks for which he won the Pulitzer Prize for Music in 2003, and Shaker Loops 1978, a minimalist four-movement work for strings. His operas include Nixon in China 1987, which recounts Richard Nixon's 1972 visit to China, Dr. Atomic 2005, which covers Robert Oppenheimer, The Manhattan Project, and the building of the first atomic bomb and the death of Klinghoffer 1991, based on the hijacking of the passenger liner Achille Loro by the Palestine Liberation Front in 1985, and the hijacker's murder of 69-year-old Jewish-American passenger Leon Klinghoffer, who used a wheelchair. The opera has drawn controversy, including allegations by some including Klinghoffer's two daughters that the opera is anti-Semitic and glorifies terrorism. The work's creators and others have disputed these criticisms. <laughs> Life and career Topic: Before 1977, John Coolidge Adams was born in Worcester, Massachusetts, in 1947. He was raised in various New England states, where he was greatly influenced by New England's musical culture. He graduated from Concord High School in Concord, New Hampshire. Adams began composing at the age of 10 and first heard his music performed around the age of 13 or 14. After he matriculated at Harvard University in 1965, he studied composition under Leon Kirchner, Roger Sessions, Earl Kim, and David Del Tradicia. He studied at Harvard University, BA 1969, MA 1972. His piece, American Standard, was recorded and released on Obscure Records in 1975. He taught at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music from 1972 until 1984. He served as musical producer for a number of series for the public broadcasting system including the award-winning series, The Adams Chronicles in 1976 and 1977. Topic: 1977 to Nixon in China. Some works composed during this period include China Gates (1977), Phrygian Gates for solo piano (1977), Shaker Loops (1978), Common Tones in Simple Time (1979), Harmonium (1980–81), Grand Pianola Music (1982), Light Over Water (1983), Harmonier (1984–85), The Chairman Dances (1985), Short Ride in a Fast Machine 1986 and Nixon in China 1985 to 87 Topic After Nixon in China The Wound Dresser 1988 John Adams's setting of Walt Whitman's 1865 poem of the same title which Whitman wrote after visiting wounded soldiers during the American Civil War the piece is scored for baritone voice, two flutes or two piccolos, two oboes, clarinet, bass clarinet, two bassoons, two horns, trumpet or piccolo TPT, timpani, synthesizer, and strings. The Death of Klinghoffer 1991, the opera's story begins with the 1985 hijacking of the Italian cruise ship Achille Loro by Palestinian terrorists and details the murder of a passenger named Leon Klinghoffer, a retired, physically disabled American Jew. 
Chamber Symphony 1992. This piece was commissioned by the Gerbode Foundation of San Francisco for the San Francisco Contemporary Chamber Players. I was looking at the ceiling and then I saw the sky 1995, a stage piece with libretto by June Jordan and staging by Peter Sellers. The main characters are seven young Americans from different social and ethnic backgrounds, all living in Los Angeles. The story takes place in the aftermath of the earthquake in Los Angeles in 1994. Hallelujah Junction 1996, this piece for two pianos employs variations of a repeated two-note rhythm. The intervals between the notes remain the same through much of the piece. On the Transmigration of Souls 2002, this piece commemorates those who lost their lives in the September 11, 2001 attacks on the World Trade Center in New York. It won the 2003 Pulitzer Prize for Music as well as the 2005 Grammy Award for Best Contemporary Composition. My Father Knew Charles Ives 2003, a semi-autobiographical orchestral triptych. It was commissioned by the San Francisco Symphony, The Dharma at Big Sur 2003, a piece for solo electric six-string violin and orchestra. The piece calls for some instruments harp, piano, samplers to use just intonation, a tuning system in which intervals sound pure, rather than equal temperament, the common Western tuning system in which all intervals except the octave are impure. Dr. Atomic 2005, an opera in two acts, about Robert Oppenheimer, the Manhattan Project, and the creation and testing of the first atomic bomb. The libretto of Dr. Atomic by Peter Sellers draws on original source material, including personal memoirs, recorded interviews, technical manuals of nuclear physics, declassified government documents, and the poetry of the Bhagavad Gita, John Donne, Charles Baudelaire, and Muriel Ruckheiser. The opera takes place in June and July 1945, mainly over the last few hours before the first atomic bomb explodes at the test site in New Mexico. Characters include Dr. J. Robert Oppenheimer and his wife Kitty, Edward Teller, General Leslie Groves, and Robert Wilson. A Flowering Tree 2006, an opera in two acts, based on a folktale from the Kannada language of southern India as translated by A.K. Ramanujan, it was commissioned as part of the Vienna New Crowned Hope Festival to celebrate the 250th anniversary of Mozart's birth. Dr. Atomic Symphony 2007, based on music from the opera. Fellow Traveler 2007, this piece was commissioned for the Kronos Quartet by Greg G. Minchel, and was dedicated to opera and theater director Peter Sellers for his 50th birthday. The Gospel According to the Other Mary 2011 an oratorio in two acts for orchestra, soloists and chorus, it premiered in May 2012 with the Los Angeles Philharmonic and the Los Angeles Master Chorale conducted by Gustavo Dadamo. The revised version, in the work's staged premiere, occurred in February 2013 again with the Los Angeles Philharmonic, the Los Angeles Master Chorale, conducted by Gustavo Dadamel and directed by Peter Sellers. Scheherazade. 2 a dramatic symphony for violin and orchestra. The world premiere for this work took place on March 26, 2015 at Avery Fisher Hall, Lincoln Center, New York City and was performed by the New York Philharmonic, conducted by Alan Gilbert, and violinist Leila Josefowitz, on March 26, 2015, before the premiere of Scheherazade.2 by the New York Philharmonic, Adams introduced the setting of the piece as related to One Thousand and One Nights, in which Scheherazade, after being forced into marriage, by re recounting tales to her husband, delays her death. He associated modern examples of suffering and injustice towards women around the world, with acts in Tahrir Square during the Egyptian Revolution of 2011, Kabul, and comments from the Rush Limbaugh show. In January 2017, he was appointed visiting professor of composition at the Royal Academy of Music in London. Musical style 
The music of Adams is usually categorized as minimalist or post-minimalist, although in interview he has categorized himself as a post-style composer. While Adams employs minimalist techniques, such as repeating patterns, he is not a strict follower of the movement. Adams was born ten years after Steve Reich and Philip Glass, and his writing is more developmental and directionalized, containing climaxes and other elements of Romanticism. Comparing Shaker loops to the minimalist composer Terry Riley's piece in C, Adams remarked, Rather than set up small engines of motivic materials and let them run free in a kind of random play of counterpoint, I used the fabric of continually repeating cells to forge large architectonic shapes, creating a web of activity that, even within the course of a single movement, was more detailed, more varied, and knew both light and dark, serenity and turbulence. Many of Adams's ideas in composition are a reaction to the philosophy of serialism and its depictions of the composer as scientist. The Darmstadt school of twelve-tone composition was dominant during the time that Adams was receiving his college education, and he compared class to a mausoleum where we would sit and count tone rows in Webern. Adams experienced a musical epiphany after reading John Cage's book Silence 1973, which he claimed, "...dropped into his psyche like a time bomb." Cage posed fundamental questions about what music was, and regarded all types of sounds as viable sources of music. This perspective offered to Adams a liberating alternative to the rule-based techniques of serialism. At this point Adams began to experiment with electronic music, and his experiences are reflected in the writing of Phrygian Gates in which the constant shifting between modules in Lydian mode and Phrygian mode refers to activating electronic gates rather than architectural ones. Adams explained that working with synthesizers caused a «diatonic conversion» a reversion to the belief that tonality was a force of nature. Some of Adams's compositions are an amalgamation of different styles. One example is Grand Pianola Music a humorous piece that purposely draws its content from musical clichés. In the Dharma at Big Sur, Adams draws from literary texts such as Jack Kerouac, Gary Snyder and Henry Miller to illustrate the California landscape. Adams professes his love of other genres other than classical music, his parents were jazz musicians, and he has also listened to rock music, albeit only passively. Adams once claimed that originality wasn't an urgent concern for him the way it was necessary for the minimalists, and compared his position to that of Gustav Mahler, J. S. Bach, and Johannes Brahms, who were standing at the end of an era and were embracing all of the evolutions that occurred over the previous 30 to 50 years. Topic: <laughs> Style and analysis. Adams, like other minimalists of his time e.g. Philip Glass, used a steady pulse that defines and controls the music. The pulse was best known from Terry Riley's early composition in C, and slowly more and more composers used it as a common practice. Jonathan Bernard highlighted this adoption by comparing Phrygian Gates, written in 1977, and Fearful Symmetries written eleven years later in 1988. Topic. Violin Concerto, MVT. 3. Tocare In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Adams started to add a new character to his music, something he called the trickster. The trickster allowed Adams to use the repetitive style and rhythmic drive of minimalism, yet poke fun at it at the same time. When Adams commented on his own characterization of particular minimalist music, he stated that he went joyriding on those great prairies of non-event. Critical reception Adams won the annual American Pulitzer Prize for Music in 2003 for his 9-11 memorial piece, On the Transmigration of Souls. 
Response to his output as a whole has been more divided, and Adams's works have been described as both brilliant and boring in reviews that stretch across both ends of the rating spectrum. Shaker Loops has been described as hauntingly ethereal, while 1999's naive and sentimental music has been called an exploration of a marvelously extended spinning melody. The New York Times called 1996's Hallelujah Junction, a two-piano work played with appealingly sharp edges, and 2001's American Berserk, a short, volatile solo piano work. The most critically divisive pieces in Adams's collection are his historical operas. At first release, Nixon in China received mostly negative press feedback. Donald Henahan, writing in the New York Times, called the Houston Grand Opera world premiere of the work, "...worth a few giggles but hardly a strong candidate for the standard repertory," and "...visually striking but coy and insubstantial." James Wurzbicki for the St. Louis Post-Dispatch described Adams's score as the weak point in an otherwise well-staged performance, noting the music as "...inappropriately placid." cliché ridden in the abstract", and "...trafficked heavily in Adams's worn-out minimalist clichés". With time, however, the opera has come to be revered as a great and influential production. Robert Hudgel for Music and Vision called the production, "...astonishing nearly twenty years after its premiere", while City Beat's Tom McElfresh called Nixon's score a character in the drama", and, "...too intricate, too detailed to qualify as minimalist." 2003's The Dharma at Big Sur, My Father Knew Charles Ives was well received, particularly at Adams's Alma Mater's publication, The Harvard Crimson. In a four-star review, Harvard's newspaper called the electric violin and orchestral concerto, "...Adams's best composition of the past ten years." Most recently, the New York Times writer Anthony Tomasini commended Adams for his work conducting the American Composers Orchestra. The concert, which took place in April 2007 at Carnegie Hall, was a celebratory performance of Adams's work on his 60th birthday. Tomasini called Adams a skilled and dynamic conductor and noted that the music was gravely beautiful yet restless. Topic. Klinghoffer controversy The opera The Death of Klinghoffer has been criticized as anti-Semitic by some, including by the Klinghoffer family. Leon Klinghoffer's daughters, Lisa and Ilsa, after attending the opera, released a statement saying, "...we are outraged at the exploitation of our parents and the cold-blooded murder of our father as the centerpiece of a production that appears to us to be anti-Semitic." In response to these accusations of antisemitism, composer and Oberlin College professor Conrad Cummings wrote a letter to the editor defending Klinghoffer as, "...the closest analogue to the experience of Bach's audience attending his most demanding works," and noted that, as someone of half-Jewish heritage, he, "...found nothing antisemitic about the work." After the September 11 attacks in 2001, performances by the Boston Symphony Orchestra of excerpts from Klinghoffer were cancelled. BSO Managing Director Mark Volp remarked of the decision, "...we originally programmed the choruses from John Adams' The Death of Klinghoffer because we believe in it as a work of art, and we still hold that conviction." Tanglewood Festival chorus members explained that it was a purely human reason, and that it wasn't in the least bit a criticism of the work. Adams and Klinghoffer librettist Alice Goodman criticized the decision, and Adams rejected a request to substitute a performance of Harmonium, saying, The reason that I asked them not to do Harmonium was that I felt that Klinghoffer is a serious and humane work, and it's also a work about which many people have made prejudicial judgments without even hearing it. I felt that if I said, OK, Klinghoffer is too hot to handle, do harmonium. 
that in a sense I would be agreeing with the judgment about Klinghoffer. In response to an article by San Francisco Chronicle David Wiegand denouncing the BSO decision, musicologist and critic Richard Taroskin accused the work of catering to anti-American, anti-Semitic and anti-bourgeois prejudices. A 2014 revival by the Metropolitan Opera reignited debate. Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, who marched in protest against the production, wrote, "...this work is both a distortion of history and helped, in some ways, to foster a three-decade-long feckless policy of creating a moral equivalency between the Palestinian Authority, a corrupt terrorist organization, and the State of Israel, a democracy ruled by law." Current Mayor Bill de Blasio criticized Giuliani's participation in the protests, and Oscar Eustace, the artistic director of the Public Theater, said in support of the production, "...it is not only permissible for the Met to do this piece, it's required for the Met to do the piece. It is a powerful and important opera." A week after watching a Met performance of the opera, Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg said, there was nothing anti-Semitic about the opera," and characterized the portrayal of the Klinghoffers as, "...very strong, very brave," and the terrorists as, "...bullies and irrational." <laughs> <laughs> List of works Operas <laughs> 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 1987 Nixon in China 1991 The Death of Klinghoffer 1995 I was looking at the ceiling and then I saw the sky song play 2000 El Niño Opera Oratorio 2005 Doctor Atomic 2006 A Flowering Tree 2013 The Gospel According to the Other Mary Opera Oratorio 2017 Girls of the Golden West premiered by San Francisco Opera November 2017 Topic <inaudible> Orchestral 1979 Common Tones in Simple Time 1983 Shaker Loops for String Orchestra 1985 Harmonier 1985 The Chairman Dances 1986 Tromba Lontana 1986 Short Ride in a Fast Machine 1988 Fearful Symmetries 1989 Eros Piano for Piano and Orchestra 1991 El Dorado 1993 Violin Concerto 1995 Gromeyer Award for Music Composition 1995 Lollapalooza 1996 Slonimsky's Earbox 1997 Century Rolls for piano and orchestra 1998 Naive and Sentimental Music 2001 Guide to Strange Places 2003 My Father Knew Charles Ives 2003 The Dharma at Big Sur for solo electric violin and orchestra 2007 – Dr. Atomic Symphony 2009 – City Noir 2012 – Absolute Jest for String Quartet and Orchestra 2013 – Saxophone Concerto 2014 – Scheherazade 2 – Dramatic Symphony for Violin and Orchestra Topic. Voice and Orchestra 1987 – The Nixon Tapes – Three Suites from Nixon in China 1989 – The Wound Dresser Topic. Chamber music 1970 – Piano Quintet 1978 – Shaker Loops – For String Septet 1992 – Chamber Symphony 1994 – John's Book of Alleged Dances for String Quartet 
1995 Road Movies for Violin and Piano 1996 Gnarly Buttons for Clarinet and Chamber Ensemble 2007 Son of Chamber Symphony 2007 Fellow Traveler for String Quartet 2008 First Quartet 2014 Second Quartet Topic. Other ensemble works 1973 American Standard, including Christian Zeal and Activity 1975 Grounding 1982 Grand Pianola Music 1996 Scratch Band 2001 Nancy's Fancy Topic. Choral works 1973 KTAADN 1980 Harmonium 1991 Choruses from the Death of Klinghoffer 2002 On the Transmigration of Souls Topic. Tape and electronic compositions 1970 – Heavy Metal 1976 – Studebaker Love Music 1976 – Onyx 1983 – Light Over Water 1993 – Hoodoo Zephyr Piano 1977 – Phrygian Gates 1977 China Gates 1996 Hallelujah Junction 2001 American Berserk Topic <laughs> Film Scores 1982 Matter of Heart 1999 American Tapestry 2010 I am love I owe sono l'amour all existing pieces no original compositions 2015 K all existing pieces no original compositions 2017 call me by your name contributions topic <laughs> orchestrations 1989 The Black Gondola lists La Lugubre Gondola 2 1882 1989 Bersuz Elegiac Busoni's Bersuz Elegiac 1907 1989 Wiegenlied lists Wiegenlied 1881 1994 La Livre de Baudelaire Debussy's Cinque Poèmes de Charles Baudelaire 1995 La MUFA Piazzolla's Tango 1996 Todo Buenos Aires Piazzolla's Tango Topic Arrangements 1989 to 93 Six Songs by Charles Ives Ives Songs Topic Awards and recognition Grammy Award for Best Contemporary Composition for Nixon in China 1989. Royal Philharmonic Society Music Award for Best Chamber Composition for Chamber Symphony 1994. University of Louisville Gromeyer Award for Music Composition for Violin Concerto 1995. Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences 1997 Member of the American Academy of Arts and Letters 1997 Grammy Award for Best Contemporary Composition for El Dorado 1998 Pulitzer Prize for Music for On the Transmigration of Souls 2003 Grammy Award for Best Classical Album for On the Transmigration of Souls 2005 Grammy Award for Best Orchestral Performance for On the Transmigration of Souls 2005 Grammy Award for Best Classical Contemporary Composition for On the Transmigration of Souls 2005 
Harvard Arts Medal 2007. Creative Chair of the Los Angeles Philharmonic 2009 -present. Honorary Doctorate of Arts from Northwestern University 2008. Honorary Doctorate of Music from Duquesne University 2009. Honorary Doctorate of Music from Harvard University 2012. Honorary Doctorate of Music from Yale University 2013. Honorary Doctorate of Music from Royal Academy of Music 2015. California Governor's Award for Lifetime Achievement in the Arts Cyril Magnin Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Arts Chevalier Dan's L'Ordre des Arts et des Lettres Knight of the Order of Arts and Letters Topic. Personal life Adams' son is the composer Samuel Carl Adams. <laughs>